at the beginning of the plant, we call it the head of the plant or the head work. So we're going to offload here and walk over there and I'm going to tell you about what's going on. Over here, this is called the influent wet well. Underneath these covers, all the sewage comes in from the community under here. It gets pumped up the hill by what's called an Archimedes screw pump. Underneath there is like a big thing that looks like a screw. And as the screw turns, the water rides up on the edges of the screw's blades. And then it dumps out up in the top. It flows through these two uh, things with the black tubes. Those are called muffin monsters. And <laughs> they chew up all the muffins that come in in the sewer. Muffins or rags or paper products or underwear or whatever anybody chooses to flush down the toilet, we need to chew that up and remove it because we don't want any of that to continue on in the process because it'll wrap around all of our equipment. After the muffin monsters, we have grit removal underneath that square. And grit is like dirt, sand, or gravel. And after that, it comes into this big round tank and this is called a primary clarifier. This part of the plant is called the headworks. This part is called primary treatment. This is called physical treatment. Physical treatment is just gets, it gets done by natural physics. And in this case, we're just using gravity. Whatever will sink to the bottom sinks. Whatever floats to the top floats. It's all natural. The same thing that happens in your backyard when your dog goes to the bathroom or out in the woods. We just capture those same bugs here and make them a really nice home. So, if if we have bugs out there that use air, we have bugs up here in these tanks that, that live where there's no air. Can anybody think of a place inside your body where there's no air? Your intestines. All right, your intestines. And guess what? You have the same kind of bugs in there. What happens when you eat too much fiber or beans? You pass gas. All right, that's the same thing the bugs are doing up here. And so what we're going to do up here on the hill, as you can see, we got a lot of construction going up there. We're going to build new round tanks. We're going to have a new set of bugs. Guess what? We're going to catch the gas and we're going to use it to fire some generators. And then the heat from the turbine generators fire, we're going to use to heat the bugs. So it's going to be a sustainable process, first in the state of Michigan. And we keep these fish in here to just keep the algae and keep the tank clean. See what a good job they do? We started putting this together, I can't tell you exactly the date, but it's probably about 40 years we've been in the, in the process of, uh, in fact, I'm sure it's even more than 40 years. And uh, we have bought land to uh, develop and to, uh, because our township is, is uh, increasing. It's the fastest growing township uh, in Ingham County. Well, we must educate our kids. And while we're educating our kids, we're inadvertently educating those adults that don't know the importance of water, resources, and, and taking care of our environment. So this is a great opportunity for our young people to be involved and be educated, as well as the adults. And we're going to go see the aerobic bugs that are in the tanks out here. You can't really see them. They just look like coffee. But if you go to the demonstration tent, we have a microscope and you can actually see them. sludge process and they start down at this end and they go like zigzag zigzag through all of these tanks. If you want to jump off you can look down and see them and in this very corner here, I wish I had a pointer, but you can see that gray pipe and out of that is coming ferric chloride which is a form of chemical treatment and we put that in there to remove phosphorus so so far we've had physical, biological and now chemical treatment. And see, they're going down the drain right there to go over to these tanks. We'll see where they come out.
And then when they come over here into these big tanks, they're called secondary clarifiers, we give them a rest and they sink to the bottom and then we send them through to eat again. The bugs over at that end are coming up and we're putting them in the tank over here and then they're gonna rest and settle down to the bottom. If you look inside there, you can see some bugs on the top and then they sink. And then if you look down here, that's how clean the water is when it gets out of the bugs. See how much of the bugs eat? Remember the difference between the yucky yellow water? Yeah. So they come out, the water comes out of here, then we pump it all the way to the top of that. It's called a nitrification tower. And that tank is filled up with black plastic honeycomb. And there's specialized bugs that attach to the plastic. And then as the water trickles over them, they convert the ammonia nitrogen to energy and remove it. So after that, it comes by gravity. We put some chlorine with it to disinfect it. And it flows over across the road into a big pond. It stays in the pond for about 24 hours, and then it goes to the Grand River. And that's the end of the tour. Okay, that's the end. Yeah, right. <laughs> Thanks for coming. <laughs> I'm just pleased that the community embraces it, that people come, that the kids are happy. They, they look forward to it every year. And I'm happy to offer um, something that people like so much.